I don't know about you guys, but I actually have to agree with Yuri Lowell's final wish with the Master Rain. The wish that the Japanese is something destroyed and therefore never miss a kid here in UWA. I don't want to take anything away from this bitch, but I, gotta, I still want to wonder who was responsible for attacking Murphy Law when the lights went out moments ago. I want to get the bottom of it here as soon as possible. We gotta move on. Match that can easily change the future, the course of the UA Double X division. And if anything goes tagging at this Pink Angel and its hand faces off with Coco and Mono Loka. Folks, let's show you the long history of these four double X's here in the UWA. Enforcer signs as well. Welcome back, Ursula. Oh, wait a minute! Wait, on the stage, that's Pink Angel. Wait, who's that? Wait, that's the Amazon, Amazon Mona Loka. There's Mona Loka. Right. Right. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute! Look at that! Wait, what happened to, what happened to Pink Angel's hair? That's like, us to drop everything he's done here tonight and over the last few months. And, oh, through the table. That's what I'm told. Will tonight be a repeat? Well, I'm going to to find out. But who's this? Oh, look, it's Titan Carter. Wait, wait! Wait! My God! And look at this. And Muto walking off Arisea, getting the pin in the middle of the ring. I'm going to look at it. Here's your winner. And new UWA Women's Champion, Coco Mona Loka. What? You gotta be fucking kidding me! Where does Pink Angel get off? Actually, think if you can pull off this kind of shit. Here we go, folks. Here goes the punt. So I set Pink Angel for a punt here. She hits it. It's going to be lights off for good for one. So oh, wait a minute. Wait, did she actually hit Mono Loco or what? But look at Pink Angel going after Coco now. And I think she's out by an accident trying to help Mono Loco up. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. 
No! Dad, folks. Man, we, we all trust him. We all... I can't acknowledge at this point. There's another huge tattoo match after the card of Pandemonium. Coco, Moro Loco is in a tan. Pink Angel with the winning team. We're trying to decide the, decide the fate of the losing team. Folks, here's week. The following contest is a no hold bar match. Coming down the aisle from Soro Cabo, Brazil, she is the Amazon Amazon, Mona Loca. Mona Loca is slightly changed in her appearance, but after all, this could be the last time we see Mona Loca in the UWA ring. It's in a tan, pink angel in the I don't want to think what they can do the likes of Coco and Mono Loco. How they might just fire them and get rid of them all together. But this is why you know Coco and Mono Loco, they're not going to go down without a fight here tonight. Especially considering the fact that the first fight we all believe that in a tan was really on the side of Coco and Mono Loco until we found it was nothing but a swerve. It's all a ruse, it's a swerve that inside with Pink Evil, a very skilled with Coco and Mono, and Mono Loca. Now introducing her partner. Now residing in Silver Spring, Maryland. She is everyone's favorite Indian, Coco. The last year for Pandemonium, Coco denounced her wrestling career. Her just calling herself this Courtney. Uh, we're going to talk to taking out a picture by Stacy Hardy. We got Beach Party Slam Master. That gets the time to think. Going to Vision Quest. And according to Coco, pretty much informed Coco that she had to come back to the UWA to see that Pink Angel is no more here in the UWA. Gosh, I'm not even acknowledged as a human being at all in this matchup. Now introducing their opponent from Seoul, South Korea. She is the Asian sensation, Anna Tan. Saw what she put Coco and Mono Logan to back in that video package. Speaking of that video package, we saw what Pink Angel put her through. The question is, despite that, I guess, I would say that even that was all part of the swerve. And Anna Tan had this storm, which I say that was trash of a human being. Had a storm from Mono Loco and Coco with her sister Team Angel back at one at first fight. Anything goes, no holds barred. Now, of course, the winning team will have the pace of a 
losing team. Oh no, the careers of two of these four would be changed forever after the conclusion of this contest. Looking for what we put start this entire reign of tyranny in last year. Now introducing her partner. From Memphis, Tennessee, she is the queen of the ring, Pink Angel. Pink Angel has a sporting new look as well. I don't even know how the enforcer can tolerate Pink Angel Girl. I mean, Pink Angel Girl again, they're destroyed. The enforcer entire double X division here in UWA in the last year. I don't know what the enforcer was thinking, making Pink Angel the general manager. And here we go, folks. Oh, going right after Mono Loka there. Oh, the match is underway. Like I said, about the conclusion of this matchup, we need to change the fate of the Double X division. I was going to say something very important about what's on at stake here, but now I can't remember what it was. I mean, I'm so much my mind right now, and I'm calling this historic match. I mean, I'm not going to deny the fact that all four of them are massively over. As Help this company make so much money. Help make this company what it is today, whether you like it or not. And today, that era can come to an end here tonight, depending on who gets the three count, or submission, or knockout. I love how this match ends. Now, just like earlier today, we won't be seeing the tag format this match because no holds barred, anything goes, and I'm sure the referee. He has the hugest, most the most important job in his career so far. Referee Larry McSquiggles to call this match and hopefully make sure he does a good enough of a job to not see any sketch, any swerves go down to distract from the outcome of this matchup. But I will say this much, folks. Don't expect, despite the talent these four men possess, or should I say, yeah, these four men possess, do not expect a five-star wrestling match in this film, because if you are going to be sadly disappointed. I mean, all four of these women, of course, want to destroy each other. They want to do whatever they can to eliminate their opposition from the UWA whatsoever. It's not going to come down to pure athletics. It's going to come down simply by, this is going to be a battle of wits and survival for these two teams. As you see Coco focusing on that bitch, where you see Pink Angel trying to focus on Mono Loka. And folks, this, this whole thing with Pink Angel, this obsession that she has, this sickness, as you might want to prefer to it, that she, oh look, it's more of an audio Pink Angel and Coco. And she has this anger, this hate towards Coco and Mono Loka. It all has to go back to 2009. And these women came on the scene and just got the best of Pink Angel that year. They just bullying these two women around like nobody's business. But at least he would have slipped the Pink Angel ever since then. Pink Angel's been displaying her hatred towards Coco Moloka ever since. Look at that Moloka doing a smart thing and saving her part of that double team. Taking out the distraction and stopping that, that double team up by that bitch and Pink Angel. And like a diving out to take down Pink with that double knee there. Oh no, I'm not just exposed to my announce table again. I don't want to see three people with the announce table tonight. 